Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here. And I have come for them. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill. Of course, you probably already know that we're on board the Normandy, staring out at space. It's beautiful. Look at all those stars just twinkling on a canvas of darkness. All right. In our last episode, we rescued ex-Cerberus scientists, and that included Jacob Taylor, who was protecting them. And not doing a very good job of it either, I might add. You know, that, that whole episode, I mean, it, it, it was okay, but the fact that he never used his biotics is, is very disappointing. I mean, come on, they, they, that should have been addressed. But anyhow, I'm not going to complain. I am not going to complain any further for right now. Popular for a while. They were fighting the collectors while the council sat and watched. And now they're killing civilians and attacking our allies. Oh. Um, soldier, watch where you're pointing that rifle. I believe he's in the crew quarters. What, huh? Caden? Okay. So I'm having a rifle pointed at me, and you're talking to me at the same time. Good lord. All right, crew deck. I'm glad she told me this, because I could not remember where Caden stays, because we do want to talk to him. Look at this. We run into this guy every time. Oh, uh, no. Sure you want to play this game? Crew quarters right here. There he is. Caden, you wanted to see me? Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh-oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seem like, like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Hmm. Well, what do you think? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many? The choice to leave someone behind? Until you're in that moment, I... <sighs> so, yeah, you know... I don't know. Can't let it get in our way. We don't have time to dwell on it. If people come to us, we help them when we can. But the war is our primary focus. Of course. There are people all over the universe that need our help. The faster we take down the Reapers, the more we can save. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life, they were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from him. From him. Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Caden. You need to let this go. You are so obsessed over Shepard and Cerberus. Just accept him for who he is. He's here now, trying to help the galaxy, trying to save people, trying to defeat the Reapers, and all you can do is question him? Okay, and I thought you agreed that you were you had his back and you... Uh, anyway. All right, um, yeah, don't dwell on him. Does it matter what he was, Caden? 
what good he may have done in the past. He's become power hungry. He's deluded and wrong. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Hmm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Mm. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. Sira. You bet. Oh, come on. I thought I was going to get an unlock. Can I have barrier, please? Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that uh, still has steak. All right, we'll do that. If you promise, you'll give me barrier after we have that steak. All right, let's go. I still don't have a bonus power. It's ridiculous. I mean, playing this game for the first time, you have to unlock all the stuff. I believe when you play through a second time, most, if not all, of the uh, bonuses are unlocked. All right, let's go back to the CIC. We still have a war to fight. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. Of course I do. Oh my goodness, it's not just one new message. All right, so we have an ANN news alert. Oh, Pharaohs. A group of colonists on Pharaohs have mounted a defense against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for, sub for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zoo's Hope said to be survivors of a savage Geth attack several years ago has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. All right, you can read the rest of this. I mean, this is a lot of stuff to read. Javik, visit the Citadel. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assumed specialist trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travel there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be in the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among race races is alive. Okay, anyway. Oh, <gasps> Miranda. I've discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm, I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you a nav point when you get there. Uh-oh. All right. Surely from Jeff, Joker, as you may know him. Hey, Commander, just wanted to let you know that I'm taking Edie down to Purgatory next time. We've got some shore leave at the Citadel. If you want to come along and make it less weird, that'd be great. Wouldn't that make it more weird? I mean, don't the two of you need to, you know, spend time together and get to know each other? You don't need a third wheel. Grace Sato. You know, we rescued her, the communications array on Antarum, I believe it was called. Commander Shepard just wanted to say how indebted I am to you, not just for saving my life, but for giving me a greater sense of purpose. After our ordeal, securing the array base on Antarum, I know... <laughs> I now know I have something more than my technical expertise to offer. Okay, and I, I don't know what that is, but I'm glad you found it. All right, Liar now, everybody wants to take a break. Look at this stuff. Shepard, I need an excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me the next time we dock on the Citadel. Garrus too. I thought the next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around CSEC near the shuttles if you're interested. So everybody wants to take a break. Wow. Okay, so, hmm. What about what's going on in the galaxy? Hold on, let's, let's, let's check our map. All right, so we're in orbit around Galax. That's where these Cerberus scientists were. Let's... There's the mass relay over here. Let's see what's flashing. Hmm. 
Asari Colony. Prothean Site and the Quarians. All right, let's head to the Prothean Site. We'll hopefully we'll be in and out very quickly. And again, I believe these are missions from the uh, Enhanced Galaxy mod. And they give us, um, I guess, little bonuses and stuff. Signal confirmed. Uh oh. Binthu. This sounds familiar. Oh, whoa, we got the hammerhead? Anyway, Binthu has an atmosphere of carbon dioxide with permanent haze of toxic chlorine and clouds of sulfur dioxide that periodically drop torrents of acidic rain on the surface. Its crust is mainly composed of sulfur with deposits of calcium. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and scan. All right, Avatar of Agility. Anything else? I think we're done. Should we take our chances to alert the Reapers? Doesn't seem like there are any around. Okay, let's get back to the Amazon cluster. going to travel all the way back to the other side of the Milky Way to investigate the Asari colony. I found something. Uh-oh, what? Ooh, ooh. Oh. Okay, <laughs> let's start here. Is this a uh, fuel? Yes, it is. Thank you. We needed that. And what have we got here? Is this Tratagos? A largely frozen planet of ice? We're just going to go ahead and scan it. Intact Reaper weapon. Okay. Hopefully that will help us. And what have we got here? Is this fuel? We're already full, I believe, yeah. Okay. Oh, 75% of assets, so there's something else here. Look at this. Look at this, here they come. All right, we're getting out of here. All right, so we're headed to Messana to investigate the Asari colony. All right, here it is, Lessus. Lessus is an unpopular garden world with characteristics just outside of the comfort zone of its Asari population. Its gravity is a little too high its diseases a little too virulent, and the soil inhospitable for growing food. Further information is difficult to come by. The Asari government is uncharacteristically silent about Lessus. Normally, a garden world settled so long ago would be highly populated, but little light pop, oh, but little light pollution can be seen on Lessus's night side. All right, we're landing. This is gonna be a disturbing mission. I'm not sure how long, we might have to break this up in two parts since we've had a lot of stuff going on before, before we got here. So, since we're going, looking for the Asari, oh, look at this outfit. 
interesting. Okay. Uh, since we're going, you know, to an Asari colony, we're going to take Liara. And... Wow. I think it's going to be Javik. We've got more to, uh, we'll go ahead and max out Shockwave. Uh, recharge speed. No, we don't need suspension in the air. Oh, wow, look at Liara. Um, we'll max out Warp with Pierce. And we're going to apply some Stasis. Let's max out our lift grenades. So, slam them to the ground after lift wears off or increase damage and impact radius. It's damage and impact radius. Okay, let's go. I mean, lift grenades are overpowered as it is, so <laughs> it's like... This you got is any really... information on the mission, Lear? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Arda Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Arda Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos' orders? If there was a chance the Arda Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Hmm, is that really necessary? Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Then neither do we. We don't need something that dangerous running around during a war. We locate the commandos, then finish the job. As you wish. Though I'd like to know exactly who sent the distress call. We'll find out soon enough. Yes, we will. Any upgrades hanging around? Let's examine the shuttle. The shuttle is warm, recently used. Okay. Ah, oh, look, people. Assault rifle stability damper. Three. Okay, let's go. Elevator disabled. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Alright, running jump. And the creepy music begins. the rest of you but I've got goosebumps. I hear something. Stay sharp. Oh what I heard something. I did that too. Sorry. What? Liara? Seriously? 
Look, a pistol melee stunner, three. And there's something else over here. What is it, Galay's electronic signature? Okay, I'm not sure what that means. All right, let's keep moving. Keep moving. It's interesting how I'm the only one that has a flashlight. All right, here's a PDA. Tommy, you won't believe what Yan has managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there. Oh, and delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. Looks like she didn't delete it. Or she never listened to it. Our staff and okay, that screaming. I hated it when I played the game, the multiplayer and stuff. Oh my god. Anyway, you'll see what it is if you haven't played Mass Effect 3 or multiplayer before. All right, staff and students. I'm really shaken now. I'm trying to pull myself together. All right, attached is our new daily schedule. Please note that wake up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Floor wardens can download chore lists later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Okay. And we've got a wall save. 7,500 credits. And we have sniper rifle, spare ammo too. What, what was that? Let's keep going. Look! A corpse! It would seem the Asari commandos fell silent because the Reapers were here to greet them. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want without that Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's in some place called the Great Hall. The commandos decided to purge this place. Hmm. I can't blame them. This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, we have a nav point. How do I get through here? Is it over here? We have to jump. All right, we're saving early. Puzzles, just an Omni tool to open the door. Love it. Very good. I almost didn't hear you. Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. Hmm, are your children a threat? You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. 
And you're here to save him. They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. <laughs> I'm blowing this place up. Find your daughters fast. I'm setting off a bomb the commandos brought here. The Jestakar Code demands I discover what happened to my children in this monastery. I cannot ignore it. Jesus. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. Wait! Let's go. All right. Which way are we supposed to go? This way. An isolated fortress. The other Yokshi must have believed they were safe from the war. If they knew about it at all. They learned. Look up on the balcony. Double war. Got it. It's a banshee, people. A banshee. why they want the Ardok Yakshi to turn them into banshees. And I tell you, to be grabbed by a banshee is something that you never want to experience. All right. Early and often. As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Faler, my youngest. She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Mother, been... they have Rila. What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... into those... monsters. Please, you can't let that happen to Rila. Hmm. The Ardot Yakshi are innocent? The Asari thought the Ardot Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardot Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. Hmm. It doesn't change why we're here. There's a bomb in the Great Hall. We're setting it off, so find your sister quickly. Bomb? But I thought you came to rescue us. I'm here because this place is a liability. A liability? My friends have been killed. Turned into... Valer. 
We did not come to argue. No. You came to destroy us! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. Look for that bomb. I doubt we'll miss it. <laughs> the power. I tell you. Okay. Um, yeah, he probably could have handled that better. Alright, so I see Great Hall over here is... Damn. You need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. Okay, we can't go that way. Let's go this way. I mean, everybody else is uh, jumping and flying down. I mean, I'm a biotic. I could do that, too. But that's all right. Look, a computer. Jethro, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Fessy later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. Well, all right, people, before we go any deeper, we're going to end the episode here so that it doesn't run on too long. But we'll be back. This is Hill! And I'm out.